Hello, and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time up, Jason Parham's Road to the Show came to its next stop at 19 Tony Gwynn Drive as Jason Parham got the call up to the San Diego Padres. And with that call up came an appearance at the Los Angeles Angels, which unfortunately he lost. He gave up four runs, including a homer, in five innings of work. And I would be, you know, I'm a little disappointed with it, of course, but on the other hand, um, the Angels are kind of the best team in Major League right now. They're tied with the Twins for the most wins of any team in the na- in either American or National League. So it's tough to tough to be too mad about that. So we'll just, you know, it's humbling, but as I said last time, whether you have a good outing or a bad outing, you still have to go out there for the next outing. So it's uh, just incumbent on us to pick ourselves up and move on to the next one. But in the meantime, uh, this is actually a very exciting day because it means that now that we're in the majors, we can finally add a new pitch to our repertoire. So that's easily the thing that I've been asked the most about in doing this series is how do you add a new pitch to your pitcher's uh, repertoire? And you have to go through a couple steps. Your first of all step is be in the major league. Okay, check. Second up, you need to have a training session. Check. You need to go to the bullpen section. Check. And then once you're in the bullpen section, you have to scroll down and look to see what, if anything, is available. Because you can only learn pitches from your fellow pitchers, the pitches that they know, not necessarily the whole exhaustive list of stuff that you can find in the uh, in the, the create, a player, create a player menu. So, unfortunately, what that means is we're limited to a fairly restrictive set of stuff because it looks like our guys are pretty basic in what they know, so... Running fastball is basically just a two-seamer. Curveball is, you know, it's the difference between a 12-6 and a regular curve is that this one has a little more glove side break, but not much. Splitter uh, is basically a changeup. It's kind of a, a hard changeup, and then a changeup is just a changeup, and we know all those things. So short of actually going in and, well, you know, saves coming to the point where we actually have a, or we have a set of pitches available to us that actually give us something that we want, which is something with, you know, more severe glove side movement, something like a, uh, a cutter or a slider or a slurve or something like that. Um, it's just going to have to wait till next time, I'm afraid. So what are we going to do? What do we got? Um, a lot of the same stuff that we already have, unfortunately. So I think... I think I'm going to go for this spin session. So, we are going to have to keep an eye out for the pitches that we want because um, it's a big deal. Because if we get sent back down to AAA, we won't have the ability to learn any pitches while we're down there. And if we get sent down, we can continue to work on the pitches that we know while we're down there, but we can't actually do anything with them until, or we can't learn any new ones unless and until we get dra- pulled back up to the top league again. So we need to make sure we get that when we get the chance. But our next outing will be at Petco Park against Cincinnati. So let's get it. downtown San Diego and Petco Park on a Thursday night. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. Stay tuned for Padres baseball next on the show. Jason Harum gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. In now for the Reds, Billy Hamilton. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Hey, nobody away. I don't know if it's quite fair to hold those triple A loss that triple A loss against me uh, in this outing, but I guess I really don't have much to say in the matter considering I just got blown up by Los Angeles. You're gonna bunt to open up the game. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rat. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Manny, I'm excited to watch David Peralta play. He's having a really nice season, hitting over 300 coming into this one. We all know that that's the magic number. When you hit over 300 for a season, you've got plenty to be proud of. Now we'll see if he can keep it up over the rest of the year. And here's Jose Peraza. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win. First offering on its way. Rounded back up the middle. There is Escobar. And boy, an error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Oh, what a play for the second out. That's quite a play there. That would be Steve Fisher, our first baseman. Peralta. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. David Peralta. Here's the first pitch to him. Misses a curveball that made him move his feet. Come on, Jason. That's not. Let's not send the wrong first impression to the home fans here. Let's actually find the zone here. Count even now at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. That's a little more like it. Still a little higher than I would like to see it, but hey, you got it across, and he didn't swing. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. All right. Low outside fastball. Let's see what he does with it. Swung on, but fouled off to the Not left. Not much. All right, one time, right here. Big hit right here. Here we go. All right, let's go high. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Maybe outside the zone a little bit. Off the plate That's that time. a little, a little much, I think. Two and two. For my you taste, at least. Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. Got him Three. looking, and that ends. Hey. Not the prettiest changeup I've thrown, but they got the job done. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Here's Chris Davis now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First baseman number 25, Chris Davis. No, no runs across, huh? Okay. Well, let's uh, keep going. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Davis, who's often called Crush Davis. He was a fifth-round pick during the first-year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wider than he's a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, uh, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. 
If you're going to stay east-west, you better pick one side. The 2-1. Well, even a two and two. Hmm. You pull a fast I'm grateful like that, that you decided you to leave that one in the park because that could have been bad. Gap to gap and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. All right, let's use a little more show time. I'm going to be a little more aggressive with it just because I'm not sure how much I'm going to get a chance to use it later on. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Bye bye. All right, guys, let's take a look at how the pods line up on D. And the guy I want to focus on is second baseman DJ LeMayhew. I think what we need to take into consideration is his ability to play that position at six foot four, six foot five, with soft hands and the ability to turn on double play. We already know he's an offensive force. Ready now for Cincinnati. Scooter Jeanette. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Scooter Jeanette. The pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Hey, come on now. Swing. Line towards center Oops. field. And two quick outs here in the second. That's Manuel Margot out there well, in center field. Squared up pretty good, but just like pitches, Saving my bacon. Well executed pitches. Batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. It was a nice little line drive, too. He was just unlucky. It was at somebody. Standing in, Eugenio Suarez. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. I got it, I got it. Need two there quick innings. I like it. Is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in, Adam Duvall he comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Adam Duvall. Incidentally, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but uh, Joey Votto is not in this Reds lineup, so I don't know if he's, uh, I don't know if he's just resting or if he's even still on the Reds. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Behind 0-2 now. And here's 0 and 2. There you go, see it up, let it fly. So yeah, let's try that. The O2 borderline change up. See what he does with nothing. He might be trying to Did nothing with it. One and two. Didn't have to do anything with it. Hey, wait for your pitch right there, huh? Ready on one and two. And he hung a curve Oof. that time that stayed high. He went with the off speed there once he got up to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't. Let's try again. One of those high fastballs, see what he does with it. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Margo out there again. And he has it for the first down. Digging in, Stuart Turner, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. One down, one down. And it's fouled away. Bunt to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Jason got a couple. Got two feet under those uh, 
those nice strong legs of him. So he can go grab those balls if he wants. So Don't leave it to the catcher. Luis Castillo. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. <clears throat> Castillo. Hey, come on now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Third inning, no score to this point. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. Well, I don't want to embarrass him too much because I'm due up next inning, and I'm <clears throat> fully expecting that uh, I'm going to look a little silly up there too. So Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Reds are down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Next to the plate for the Padres, for the Jason Padres. Parham. Enter Jason Parham. This is your usual reminder that my hitting difficulty is much less than my batting error. My, my hitting difficulty is much less than my pitching difficulty. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Oh, no. Reel it in out there. And he's pitcher the doubles? Now with you know out. you love him. You've got the pitcher leading off an inning. You have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas. Put some solid wood on it and found himself on second with the leadoff double. Digging in for his second at bat, Manuel Margo. Second trip to the plate for him. He drew a leadoff walk in the home first. Dear Lord. Is he coming to every game? Parham stands at second with no outs. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Duvall has a read on it. One away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Um, maybe if I'd had a little better judgment there, I would have got there, but it seemed like a good way to get out, too. So. And that'll bring in Carlos Esuaje. The 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jeanette shading to his right. And no chance on this one. Riding in once again, DJ LeMayhew. He popped out in his first trip. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. I'd just like to take a moment to remark on the absurdity of this moment. It's July in San Diego, and Jason Parham is wearing a long sleeve jacket. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Diego. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. I love baseball, but I don't pretend that it's not an extremely dumb sport. <clears throat> Stepping up now, Billy Hamilton. He'll swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Strike one to start the at-bat. Did I just hit you? Are you going to insist on bunting every time we do this? One and one to the Reds' leadoff man. Hey, hey like guys, let's go. Up there, kid, huh? And this ball runs away for ball two. Come on, two Jay. And one. 
That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Three and one to him now. Well, we've got a fairly decent out and going so far. I'd rather not give it, give it up so easily. So, what are you going to do? And this will be nowhere Give it close up. as his control deserts him here. It's a five-pitch walk. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. Pitch, huh? the now at the plate, 98-99, oh dear. After grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. See you over there. First delivery to him on the way. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Now the 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. That was a classic two hole hitter move right there, giving his boy a chance to steal a bag. Gotta be honest, in today's game, you don't see too many guys take that pitch. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike Ooh. two. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a hey, double play on, situation, so right making him right get here, a pitch here. up and actually in the zone is a must. All right, let's try this again. Grab that low outside curveball. You actually got hold of that one. That's a little disconcerting. But a ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Come on, Jay. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs. No. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three two count runner on first. It's got some serious wheels. You know, he's probably being put in motion. Throw me a ground ball right here. Let's go. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. Fouled off. Well, we've been doing pretty conservative on our. Uh on our pitch count up until now so the next three, two. It's taken on the inside corner gotcha three. well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one not sure the hitter would want to hear that though how about it right fielder David Peralta Into the box, David Peralta as the first pitch to him is in. There we go. That's the kind of break I want to see on those pitches. Comes set with the 0-1. Curveball stays a little high that time. Well, that curveball's got no business being that high, but I'd rather, much rather miss with a high curveball than leave one just kind of up in the zone. Here's the one and one delivery. No oh no! On one, Come on, Jay. That's a Come great on, dude. Right there, fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Two, two, After two, two, if that guy's running, easy transfer throw to second down. base. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. That's oh, a good really try, Jay. Tough double play to turn when the first baseman has to field it coming off the bag and then make a throw to second while the runner is going down the line. Couldn't complete the double play, but at least they got one out. First base, number well, now we've traded a 99-98 for like a 63-19. That's an acceptable trade for me. He looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, see it and drive it, huh? Here it comes, 1-0. Change up in for a strike. If 
you're going to take those, I'll give them to you. Peralta is off of first with two away. Hot shot toward third. Ooh. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. Man, you smoked that thing. Not a boy, boy you talk about being a game of inches, d -Roll. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. No balls and a strike to count. Come on, man. Get your pitch up there. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Line drive the left, and that's in there. Oh, here we go. Peralta rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag, and he's safe. They've taken wow. The so he's able to come through here with two away. I thought we might have got him, but. Check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Well, good on you, Scooter, I guess. Ready for another chance? Eugenio Suarez. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. And a neck high fastball that time. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole hey, lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Sent on the ground out to second. There we go. That's the out I was looking for. Time and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for Cincinnati. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Reds one and the Padres nothing. All right, guys, get those bats working. Here you go, guys. Let's go. Digging in to try it again. Adam Duvall flied out in his well, first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Hey, let it rip one time. Hey, it's your pitch, Greg. Nothing first doing so far, apparently. A fastball that just misses inside. The 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Ooh. Going yard with that one. We got no one. That's a circle ball. change here, but it's taken for ball two. Yeah. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. I'm going to use a little more showtime. I've been having mixed results with this low inside curveball. Seems like people are getting pretty good contact with it. But sometimes you get lucky. Have a seat and get comfortable. really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. What out now? Now batting. Standing in now, Stuart Turner. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here we go, guys. Boom. Lays off again, and it's 2 and 0. You were twitching. Two balls and a strike. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. And the pitch on two and one. Swing and a little tapper. That goes foul. Yeah, contact. Good for you. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Aswahe moving in. He can't get there. Oh, dang. In. The throw into second, and he is in there. 
there's no question he's been that's a good double lately trying to do anything to get himself going so he's got to feel pretty good after that double not to take anything away from him but I think I could have probably hit that pitch yeah that's one of those gift pitches not the location he was shooting for and that was you know outside the zone I don't think there was anything else I could have done. Now, Luis Castillo, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul. Not sure if that's just a credit to him or, or what, but. Come on, guys. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The 1 1 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Oh, Jay. All right, let's not let's not be too fancy here. This guy was swinging and missing it fastballs earlier, so let's just keep giving him fastballs. Swing hard in case you hit it. Philosophy of hitting as a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Bye bye. Thanks for playing. Please don't go too harshly on me at my next at bat. In scoring position with Sugan. All right, here we go. We need you here. We need you. Hey, two away, two away. Come on, guys. You want to bunt again? It's a one-run game, the pitch. And the changeup is way low there. Learned your lesson, did you? Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Oh, Jay. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Ooh. Yeah, listen to your catcher. Listen to Mr. Brandt. Take a take a breath. Slow it down. Spin and a throw back to second, and he's back in standing. Give the guy on second something to think second about. Second with two down. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip on it's kind of a tenuous spot, hey, that but that one's in there. Three and one. It'll be You're going to take. He comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. First, Hold on. to his Hold right, right Fisher. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One Why give up Cincinnati walks you don't have to? They're on top, one to nothing. They're going to let me bat again. Why not? I got a 1,000 batting average and a 2,000 slugging percentage. First pitch on its way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. What is this guy even throwing? Four seam, two seam change up slider. And he misses again, 2 0. Can't allow Ooh, yourself he's to lose focus cooking at right 99. Now. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Now the 2-0 home. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. That one was outside, but I'm not going to yell too much. Just so we all, just so we're all on the same page here. That one was outside. Hey, we got one. And it misses three and one now. Just Manuel like that Marco one was inside. On the three and one pitch. Liner go. towards Marco. second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, I've been well, that wasn't a double, but... He's thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runners on first with one down. Oh, 
hit on the ground out to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. I'm not gonna. By the batter right there. I'm not gonna challenge the third baseman on that one. But gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try to do too much, and drives it for a base hit. So stepping in, Carlos Asuaje, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a pickoff play at second, and he just manages to get his hand in. No sense in, you know, tempting fate out here. I'm on second, and I want intend to stay here. Third. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just Come on, DJ. You're the top overall in our lineup. Make something happen. Come on, guy. Get your pitch ready. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men at his ah. position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Five innings complete, Reds out in front, one to nothing. Ready once again, Jose Peraza, and he'll lead things off in the Cincinnati sixth. Come on, baby. All right. Probably going to be Jason's last inning. Assuming we can make it out. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. David Peralta is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And nobody out now. Come on, big guy. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hit back up the middle. And that's uh, good. His first base yeah. Hit in this one. That's what I want to see. Hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Here's Chris Davis now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now a circle change but he takes it low. Oh, gee. Well I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Three. And oh man. Uh, well, now if we're going to do it, we might as well do it. He's the zone strike one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. All right, well, I'm getting the feeling that uh, I'm not going to get many more chances for it, so. And this will be fouled away. Okay. Well. The 3 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. From the stretch. Fastball got him looking. As that gotcha. Team action on it. One gone. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Digging in once again, Scooter Jeanette, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Well, Scooter has been the one guy able to get a run off of Jason today, so I imagine if anyone's going to do it, it'll be him. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job by the pitcher to get ahead 0-1. He has now got this offensive player on the defensive. Hits are even right now at five aside. 
a ball and a strike. Hey, let's go two. Plays it two. Two balls and a strike to Jeanette. Oh, Jay. You see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in okay. the count now. Got him to foul that one off. What's next? You want that change up? I think I think I it's a better got a better chance of getting that than I do with my curve. So let's go ahead and do it. Well hit to right. Uh oh. But that's a foul ball. Watch your lips in the first couple rows there. He got the head out on that changeup. Good thing they enforced the new netting rules this year. All right, so let's go ahead and try this curve. See what he does. And this one's in the dirt. Nothing. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. All right. Well, I don't necessarily like it, but I'm going to try it. Popped him up. Ooh, nice, nice pop up. Fisher is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Oh. <laughs> I have to admit, I was really hoping that I was going to be done there, but nope. Only one out. Now we have two. Here in inning number six. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Oh, blue. Manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Hey, two away, two away. There we go, kid. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit worn out there. Kicks and deals. Two and one. Peraza over at second. Not sure why I bothered with the curve there. Two out in the inning. Hard hit ball to second. LeMahieu gets to it from deep in the hole. Oh, get him! First in the Reds. Yes. Comes up short here as that ends the inning. Reds strand a couple, but they're up one. All right, Pods. Did my best for you. Don't let me down. Colin Moran we called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. We'll have the bases loaded with oh, my old Pirates buddy. Well, good luck, Colin. Okay, well, Jason got the quality start. Six innings, one run. So let's see what they can do for us. Survey says. It's always nice to take them. All right. Except your home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series. And it gets you a good springboard the rest of the way. 7-1, the final score in tonight. San Diego. Wow. Seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Kirby Yates earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Well, they tied it up in the sixth, and then they won it in the seventh. So I can't be too mad about that. So until next time, I'm Tyron Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.